Hi, welcome to Villa Rosa Incorporated. My name is Kurt Johnson. Uh, I farm here with my brother, Kyle Johnson, my grandpa, Bill Schrage. We milk about 95 cows with robots. We um, heard about robots and we're kind of not wanting to go that route because of the amount of money, but we, our grandfather uh, suggested we check it out before we totally discount it or uh, not check it out. The amount of money we'd save in labor would almost just pay for the robots themselves. It became a no-brainer after a while and didn't ever look back. Ten years ago, whenever we took over the farm, it was very labor intensive. We had to wake up at four o'clock every morning and milk the cows, and we worked from about 4 a.m. till either seven or eight o'clock at night. Now, now since we bought these robots, we've uh, gotten pretty lazy. On an average day when we don't have a lot to do, we I, I don't normally wake or get out to the farm until about seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, the first thing I do is I go to the computer. And I'll, I'll look at the list of cows that haven't been in through the robot or the, the milker in, say, 12 hours plus. Anyways, I'll go get those cows and run them in. Uh, then I'll, I'll go over and look at several other charts on the computer to make sure as far as uh, udder health, see if any cows have mastitis, or if I have any cows that um, are even lame or lost body weight. I have a chart for those if you have a dramatic loss in body weight it will come up on the computer or if you got one favoring a foot the computer or the robot can tell that as well. It also has charts for uh, robot performance because if the robot's not working uh, milking the cow as quickly as possible then you're not going to have the throughput that you should and the cows won't be getting milked like they should. So you'll have to go check to make sure all your air holes are open and not clogged with manure. And, uh, but uh, that being said, I would probably only spend about an hour each day doing those robot chores, I guess we call them. Other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot simpler. The cleanup is almost non-existent. It's just spray down the floor and clean off the lenses where the lasers identify the, uh, the cow's teats. Now that I've uh, got these robots, I have much more spare time to um, do family things, uh, social activities. Uh, the, one, one of the bigger advantages also is, um, not to say that family isn't, but I'm a better manager. For example, hay work, we don't have to stop at say four o'clock in the afternoon to go milk the cows. It, it, everything stays the same, we keep going, we do our thing and we get done with everything. And uh, you, you, at the end of the day, whenever there's one, one or two more small things that maybe isn't, uh, it doesn't have to be done, it, 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 uh, it gets done now instead of being too tired to go and do it. The lifestyle is just um, a, a lot better compared to what, what it used to be. 